Is this trip the fix that we need for North Carolina's economy? I doubt it. Uh, governors typically make overseas trade uh, missions. They sometimes staff overseas offices, as North Carolina has done in the past. Uh, you can understand why uh, the Commerce Secretary, Keith Crisco, who I should say in full disclosure is a friend of mine, uh, would, would think it was necessary to travel. But typically when they say the governor needs to go to close deals, the deals are already pretty much closed. You don't, you don't subject the governor to a variety of public events in other countries where they waste their time. Uh, these are largely for PR purposes, not so much for negotiation purposes. And after all, why should the governor of any state be negotiating on behalf of private companies that are trying to either sell land to foreign companies or sell products to foreign companies? Uh, it's perfectly all right for the governor and the secretary of commerce and other officials to make North Carolina's economy more competitive and more productive, but that's different from essentially engaging in these kinds of sales jobs. When, when they do it through low-cost means, it's no big deal. You know, you expect mayors and governors to talk up their, their uh, homes. But when you start expending significant amounts of taxpayer money on these things, I think you have to start asking, where are the results? And as far as I'm aware and the evidence that I've looked at in the past, there seems to be no relationship between the amount of investment that a state puts in trade missions or overseas trips and actual economic outcomes.